Hey, what's good, what's good, what's good? Um, welcome to my channel. I hope you've liked, comment and subscribed and done all those good stuff. Okay. Today I'm going to be doing a very different video. I've been hearing so much about CMOS, 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 the health benefits of CMOS. If you've looked at my videos, you've seen that I do a lot of stuff to do it like fitness, health. I don't know. I'm just trying to live long, right? I'm getting older, so I'm always looking into new things. And this was one of those subjects that was really popular on um, everywhere, like because um, Dr. Sebi used to talk about the benefits of CMOS and how all the, you know, vitamins and all the nutrients you need are in CMOS. Um, so I've decided to give it a go. I went to a place in um, Hackney and I bought some bladder wick. So that's herbs right there. I'm going to be adding that into my sea moss. I've got sarsaparilla. I'm going to be adding that into my sea moss. And I'll show you what the sea moss comes like. This is what the sea moss comes like, right? These, this one apparently has been washed. And one thing is, before I started doing this whole CMOS thing, I, I looked on YouTube, I looked on Google and all that stuff. They were talking about how, like, different people have different CMOS, how different CMOS is made in different countries, how certain CMOS has different strengths. There's the purple CMOS, there's the Irish moss, whatever the case is. I am very new to this. So if you're watching this video and you're very, very educated on the subject, please feel free to give me some tips below. Um, I'm starting off with this one. It comes in a sealed bag. I've soaked it. Yeah. The whole science is you're supposed to soak it overnight, right? But what I'm going to do is add some lemon. I'm going to add some lemon in because apparently that helps it bring out the vitamins. The vitamin C helps it bring out some of the nutrients. So... I'm going to put one in now while it soaks. Of the sea moss. It didn't fully um like it still feels a bit hard so i'm going to give it by the end of today so i want to give it the most time soaked as possible in this smoothie i've got spirulina bladderwick 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 and bananas for taste and um, this is still the sea moss still feels a bit hard some people boil it, but I don't want to boil this. So I'm going to leave this for as long as possible so I don't have to boil it. Because some people boil it and I feel like if you're doing anything with nature, you should kind of get it raw and, you know, not tampered with. So yeah, next time you see me, we'll see if this is ready. All right, guys, um, I've just come back. It's dark now. I've left it like pretty much the whole day. It's not getting any mushier than this. So I'm going to add some filtered water from my filter. And I'm just gonna give it a blend because I don't think it's gonna get any softer. Now I'm gonna add some bladder rack in there. Cause apparently fusing the two together gives it the best I'm just going to be generous with it. Okay. I didn't measure it, so if you guys feel like you can tell me what's the right measurement, I, I didn't measure it. I just put it in. Now I'm going to put some lemon in there. Because that's one thing I heard really helps when you're doing this. So you've got to add some lemon.
You don't want. Alright. I've blended it. What I don't know is if it's as like smooth in texture as most of them are. Because I've seen a lot of people's ones on Instagram and it's quite smooth and like jelly like. But then again, I didn't boil this. I didn't boil it. I just did it raw. So maybe it's still a bit hard. I'll just give it a bit to. Still feels like there's bits in it. But I might just keep it like this for this batch because I've got two batches. I'll keep it like this for this batch. It's still sea moss, it's going into my body. Then the next batch, depending on how this goes, I'll see if I'm, I'll, I'll boil the next batch. But yeah, guys, if you feel like boiling it is the right way, if you feel that's the best way to do it, let me know below and then hopefully I can boil the next one if I get all the comments. Um, if you think keeping it raw is the best way, then let me know as well so I don't boil the next batch. All right, I've just bagged up, well, I've just bottled up my sea moss in this. I'm going to use whatever's left to kind of like make a quick smoothie. <clears throat> so guys, like I said, if I get a hundred likes on this video, I will do a follow up video telling you if this worked and how I feel and what exactly I put in and where I got it from if you're London based and if it doesn't get a hundred likes I'll see how I feel but most likely not like comment and subscribe thank you very much for watching <clears throat> for watching <laughs>